Hello class, today we're going to learn about the three major Native American civilizations during the medieval period, the Mayans, the Aztecs, and the Incan empires. We've been on the Eastern Hemisphere all year, but now we're going to come over to North, Central, and South America. Today we're looking at SOL strands 11A and B, describing geographic relationships with emphasis on patterns of development in terms of climate and physical features, and describing cultural patterns and political economic structures for all three um, civilizations. So in the red, according to our map legend, are the Aztecs. The Aztecs lived in what is present-day Mexico. As a matter of fact, the capital of the Aztecs is the present-day capital of Mexico. It's called Mexico City. In pink here are the Mayans. That is on the Yucatan Peninsula, more so Central America. And in purple down here to the south in South America and present-day Peru and Chile are the Incans. So what are the characteristics of the Mayan civilization. As mentioned, they were located on the Yucatan Peninsula. And here's the Yucatan Peninsula again. It is um, the southern tip of Mexico. They were located in rainforests. So in the SOL, they're going to ask you about the ge uh, geographic features of each of the Native American empires. And you have to know that the Mayans lived in tropical rainforests. The capital city for the Mayans was Chichen Itza. Uh, on the SOL test, they may give you a pyramid of Chichen Itza and ask you what was this pyramid used for. A collection of city-states ruled by a king. And as we know from studying Mesopotamia and studying Greece, a city-state is a city that is its own country. So each of the Mayan city-states were ruled by individual leaders. They were their own independent country. However, they were a collection of city-states. All of them were ruled by one king. They may have each had their own individual leaders, but they were each ruled by the same king. Uh, their economy, meaning how they earned money, was based on agriculture and trade, and agriculture is uh, farming. And they were known for building pyramids. So whenever you see a pyramid on the SOL test, that doesn't look like the Egyptian pyramids. The pyramids of the Mayans had steps on them. So whenever you see a pyramid on the SOL or on the test coming up that has steps, it is going to be a Mayan temple. So here's a question that may be on the SOL and or the unit uh, 5 test. It says the image above best represents which Mesoamerican civilization and your answer for this should be the Mayans and the key to this is because what is it what do you see here a lot of trees a lot of tropical trees and what is one of the characteristics of the Mayans they were located in the rainforest so if you go to the Aztec civilization or the Incan civilization they're not going to be surrounded by so many trees because they were not in the rainforest that was only distinct for the Mayan civilization. So what are the characteristics of the Aztec civilization? They were located in central Mexico, as we stated on the map. They are present day um, Mexican. Most Mexicans today are descendants of the Aztec civilization. They are located in the arid valley, and arid means dry. So uh, what, it, what do we call those type of geographic uh, lands where the land is dry? We call that a desert. So they may get say that the Aztecs are located in arid dry lands, or they might say that the Aztecs are located in deserts, but they were not like the Mayans, located in rainforest. The capital city for the Aztecs was Tenochtitlan. And like I said, Tenochtitlan is in present-day Mexico, and it is the capital of the Aztec civilization, is the capital of the Mexican civilization today. And the capital of Mexico today is Mexico City. That is the exact same city as Tenochtitlan. As a matter of fact, if you go to Mexico City today, you will still see some of the ruins and temples from the Aztec civilization. Uh, similar to the Mayans, their economy was also based on agriculture, but it was also based on tributes 
from conquered peoples. And a tribute is whenever a more powerful civilization took over a lesser civilization, the, the lesser civilization would have to pay uh, the the larger civilization in gifts and taxes, I guess you could say. So the, the lesser known or the lesser powerful uh, people would have to pay in gifts. They would have to farm and give the Aztecs their, their food and, and stuff like that. And the Aztecs also used to charge taxes. Uh, here's a question that may appear on the uh, SOL test. It says, which Latin American civilization is outlined in dark gray? Now, you could answer this by two ways. You could just look here, based on our knowledge from our map. So if we go back to the map, you see where the Aztecs are located right here. So if you just go forward and look at where it's located here, you'll automatically know it's the Aztec civilization, just based on where it is on this map. But this is also um, an insert map, and it shows you what this piece looks like up close. So if you, we look at this piece up close, we have Tenochtitlan right here. And if you see Tenochtitlan, you automatically know, based on your notes, that Tenochtitlan was the capital of the Aztec Empire. So you would automatically say that this is the Aztec Empire. So you would have to look at where it is on the map, and if you look at the insert map, you will see a keyword Tenochtitlan, and that would help you figure out that it is the Aztec Empire. Here is an artist impression of what Tenochtitlan used to look like. Uh, here's another artist impression of what Tenochtitlan used to look like. They are, their pyramids, as you notice, are not like the Egyptian pyramids. They had stairs, but you're not going to see um, any Egyptian, I mean, excuse me, any Aztec pyramids on the SOL. Because remember, they weren't famous for their pyramids. Only the Mayans were famous for their pyramids. But the Aztec pyramids were made out of gold. And this is going to be a huge problem for them um, when the Spanish come and wipe them out. And they're going to wipe them out for their gold. What does Mesoamerica mean? And you noticed in one of the past questions, it said, which Mesoamerican civilization is this? Well, Mesoamerican means between two Americas. Between two Americas. So if you look at this map, if we go back to our map here, we got the Mayans in pink and we got the Aztecs in red. Mesoamerica, they are between two Americas. To the north is North America and to the south is South America. So it's very similar to another uh, civilization we've talked about. Mesopotamia, which meant the land between two rivers. And Mesopotamia was the land between the Tigris River to the northeast, I mean, excuse me, the northwest, and the Euphrates River, which was to the south west. So Mesoamerica is the area of land between the North American and South American continents. What are the characteristics of the Incan civilization? They were located in South America, so they are not, I repeat, they are not a Mesoamerican civilization because they did not live between North and South America. They actually were in South America. So the only two Mesoamerican civilizations are the Mayans and the Aztecs. They were located in the Andes Mountains, so that's important. The Mayans located in rainforests. The Aztecs located in dry, arid deserts. The Incans are located in mountains. The capital of the Incan civilization was Machu Picchu. And it's going to be very easy to uh, differentiate that on the SOL. And I'm going to show you the question in a second because they lived in mountains. So it's going to be very easy for you to pick out what the capital of the Incans is going to be. They were also ruled by an emperor, very similar to the Mayans. They were high altitude agriculture or terraced farming, high altitude. And if you know, high al altitude means high up. And why are they high up? Because they live in the what? The mountains. So they had to figure out how to farm 
on mountains. And they're going to figure out what the Greeks could not figure out because if you remember the Greeks had to rely on shipping and trade in order to to get food and to make money but the Incas are going to invent something called terrace farming we're going to look at that in a second that is a key word that you must know for the SOL they are going to be known for building sophisticated roads and we're going to look at that this is terrace farming it looks like steps so what they did was they planted their crops on these stairwells and this was all they had because they didn't have flat land because they lived in the mountains so terrace farming is um, on the side of a mountain it stated that the Incans uh, created sophisticated road systems and they're sophisticated because they lived on top of mountains how do you build a road on the side of a mountain this is how they did it not only did they build roads they also had to build bridges and these are the bridges that they built very dangerous and here's a very uh, dangerous example here the tides were rapid but this is how they built their bridges and thousands of Incans died creating these bridges these were not easy to create but the fact that they are still here thousands of years later show the the architectural genius of uh, the Incan civilization here is the capital of the Incan civilization Machu Picchu and the, I told you that it's going to be very easy to distinguish this from the others because the Incans lived on top of what they lived on top of mountains what do you see in the background here mountains so this if you they show you this on the SOL you should be able to answer the question all right here's a question that will appear on your test which Latin American civilization is outlined in dark gray notice it didn't say Mesoamerican civilization because this is not Mesoamerica Mesoamerica is where right here because what does Mesoamerica mean the land between two Americas this is actually on one of the Americas, South America. So which civilization is alongside the west coast of South America? The Incan Empire. Here's another question. Which civilization was located near the physical feature shown on the map? So this is a, a picture of South America as the map shows. And here's the map legend. It says mountains. Who lived alongside mountains? That's the key word the Incan Empire and of course if you are familiar with the shapes of your geography continents then you'll know that this is the Incan civilization this famous lost city is part of the what here's the exact same picture as right here except it's in black and white what famous lost city is this the Incan Empire how do you know it's the Incan Empire because it has mountains in the back what are the major achievements of the three civilizations? Mathematics for the Mayans and Aztecs, calendars for the Mayans and Aztecs, and record keeping systems for the Incas. Now, the image above is from which region? So you know, this was a calendar. This was a calendar. Who made calendars? The Mayans and Aztecs. So the answer to this would be Mesoamerica because again Mayans and Aztecs lived in the middle they lived in Central America the land between two Americas what did all three have in common all three were polytheistic meaning they believed in many gods and each economy was based on farming all of them depended on farming in order to survive as most Native Americans did in North and South America so this is a question that you will see on your test it's a Venn diagram and it's saying which characteristic belongs in the shaded area of this diagram we need to know what all three of them have in common worshipped many gods lived in high altitudes we know that would go with the Incas ruled by Emperor we know that would go for the Mayans and Aztecs but not the Incas so these were the notes for the Mayans, Aztecs, and Incas. Please go to Google Classroom under Google Forms and you will be answering the DBQ questions for this. If you have any questions regarding this lecture or the DBQ questions, please contact me through the Remind Me app.